suppose we have an angle in standard position, say it's in the first quadrant. We call between them theta. So where theta ends is called the terminal side of that angle. Now let's say we start from the same initial side but go the other way, still ending on that terminal side. Different angle, let's call that beta. If you look at it, this is actually theta minus 360. So this is going to be a negative angle. Or maybe we can go a little further than that. Let's start from the same initial and terminal side, go past the initial end at the terminal. Again, different angle, let's call that gamma. So I want one full revolution and then theta. So this is theta plus 360. Okay, theta, beta, gamma. These are called coterminal angles. If you think about it, coterminal, that means they share co, a terminal side which they do. The good thing about coterminal angles is that their trig functions will be the same. So if I did the sine of theta, this would equal the sine of beta, which would also equal the sine of gamma. Okay, if beta was theta minus 360, gamma was theta plus 360. So basically just adding or taking away 360s will get you back to where you started. So that means that sine of theta is equal to sine of theta plus any multiple of 360. So 360 degrees, let's say times k, where k is just an integer. So it could be positive, negative, zero. Or if you want to view this in radians, 360 degrees is two pi. So let's look at some examples involving coterminal angles. So let's say I want to find the sine of 405 degrees. Since 405 degrees is more than 360, let's take away 360. So we're going to end up in the same spot as 45 degrees. So the sine of 45 degrees is the same thing as sine of 405 degrees, which is square root of 2 over 2. Say I have the cosine of 420 degrees. Again, this is more than 360, so let's take away 360. So I'm left with the cosine of 60 degrees, which is 1 half. Let's do one with radians. Let's say we have the tangent of negative 5 pi over 3. Okay, since this is a negative, let's add, in this case, radian, so add 2 pi. Okay, it might help maybe to rewrite negative 5 pi over 3 as a mixed number. So this is negative 1, 3 goes into 5, 1 with 2 left over, so negative 2 thirds. So negative 1 and 2 thirds plus 2, you're left with a third. So this is the tangent of pi over 3. And we know that's square root of 3.